video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add a glass effect, a type effect, to an image. Now, I've just got this image of Greenwich Village, which I took quite a few years ago. And now, to add some nice glassy text to the front of that, just quickly go over to a PST file. Of course, you can create a, any empty document and just type something like Greenwich Village. So I'm just going to type it in a font using the type tool, Greenwich Village. So spell it correctly. Okay, resize it a bit. So it's actually, this document here is exactly the same size as the document there. Now it's about 1,600, so it's 1,600 or so as well. Now what you can do then, you can just apply effects if you wish. You don't have to have to keep the same text. So uh, I'm just going to apply, say, like a blur. You could, there's a whole range of different things like blur gallery, which are quite good. But I'm just going to go for the Gaussian blur. And of course, you could use, say, maybe the blur tools over there if you, if you wish. But there's obviously hundreds of other things you could do to the type before you use it as a displacement. Now, let's say it's the same file size. So and now just quickly go shop document file and then go back to the original document and then go to a filter and filter gallery. Now this works only in 8-bit mode. So if you actually go, this document originally was actually in 16-bit and unfortunately the filter gallery is not available. So now just select the filter gallery and then you can see it, but just to get that, you've normally default is blocks, canvas, etc. in the glass filter, that's the key one. And just set that to glass and set texture by going over here. So load texture and just select that file. Right, so I've done that already. So, and then key thing here is set, the, you don't have to of course, but uh, set the scaling to 100%. So it's exactly the same size as the image. And then you can modify the smoothness. I mean, obviously you can just, probably works best when it's actually just about smooth. You can just about see it. I mean, again, depends how much blur or whatever other effects you've added in the previous document, in the PST document. Of course, you can also reduce the distorts, you can hardly see it, so it's a very, very subtle like, watermark. But uh, just put it onto full max distortion, and there you have it. You've got a nice click open. Now, of course, as with anything with Photoshop, you can apply it again, so it can just quickly add. Now, particularly, all that does is makes the uh, glass effect even more slightly distorted. So, I personally, I always prefer it just set there but also you can modify it just go to edit and fade filter gallery so you can just go in there and then decide well no, i'm not going to go for the full i can go say for 50 percent or maybe change some mode to darken sometimes that creates a nicer sort of glass effect so click ok and there you have it got a nice greenwich village that you've added to thing of course now you could apply it maybe as a layer you could obviously duplicate the photo and then apply it as a line and then move that around. There's a hundred other things you can do. So it's not, doesn't have to be exactly the same way. Hope you found this of interest.